Fifth grade, welcome to the lesson for Wednesday and for Thursday. Today we are going to be taking our chapter test on chapter 11. We are all finished with our geometry unit, which means we're ready to test and see what we've learned. Now, when you take your test, you have a couple of options, okay? Option one is to get onto GoMath and take the test right on GoMath. You log in, it should pop up um, today and tomorrow, so go ahead and, and do that on there. If you would rather do the paper copy, that is inside the packet that you picked up. The test on the paper copy is two pages if you count front and back or four pages if you count one sided only. Now you only need to choose one of the two options. You can either do it online or you can do it on the paper. I don't care which one you do. Um, just know that the kids that do it online, they're going to be taking a slightly different test as the one on paper. It's all the same stuff. It's just a little bit different format. Okay, so your test is on volume. Go ahead and um, you can rewatch any of the videos that you need to. Anything's up for you can use whatever resources you have for this test. So again, we're we're looking at shapes. We're looking at triangles, rectangles. We're finding volume. We're counting squares to see how many squares fit inside of a of a three D shape. After we finish this unit. Uh, after this week is over, we're actually going to go back to chapter, uh, I think it's chapter 9, but it's algebra. So I skipped ahead, um, I, I did measurement and then I did geometry, I think that was 10 and 11, chapter 9, they wanted us to do that before, but I thought I'd save that until the end, which is no big deal, um, algebra. Algebra is kind of fun, it's looking at um, equations, looking at graphs. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. I, I think we're through most of the difficult stuff for the entire year. The very last thing that you can also choose to do today or tomorrow, this is in your packet. Okay, these are the clue worksheets. There are five of them. Basically what it is, this is extra credit, choose to do it if you want to. It's kind of like for the fast finishers who need more work uh, or more of a challenge. Um, there is a little goblin named Gimpy. I'll, I'll explain. I think I explained this already, but he created something called the Shrinkinator. He wanted to shrink pizzas down so that they were really small so he could have a bunch of them. Instead of making the pizza small, the machine backfired and it made him huge. And so he's going throughout the town. He's causing all sorts of havoc. He's making a big mess. People want to stop him, so they're looking for the Shrinkinator so they can get Gimpy back to his normal size. So this is where these sheets come in. You're going to find the clues on each sheet to, to figure out where the Shrinkinator is. There's one page that says possible locations. Um, you're not going to know the possible locations until you figure out the clues. Now the clues are all have to do with what we just learned. Okay, they're on surface area, area of compound figures, area of triangles, um, volume. So I actually open this up to fifth and sixth graders. It's probably the most extra credit that I've offered all year. I'm going to give you 10 points per page that you finish and then extra points if you solve the mystery. You should have time to do that today or tomorrow. Your test will only take one day. Uh, you decide if you want to do it or not. I, it, it's totally up to you. Um, you guys are leaders. You guys um, decide what you want to do. All right, tomorrow on Friday, we'll have a video on science. Ms. Fanu and I got together in the classroom. We bought, brought some animals in. It was kind of fun. I do apologize. It's a little bit on the long side. I think it's 18 minutes. But we had fun doing it, so hopefully you'll entertain us and watch us um, for that one. All right, guys, have a wonderful week. We will touch base over email, and then we'll start again next week with the next two weeks. Goodbye.